Steve, tell us a little bit about CEI. What is it? CEI is a community development corporation and community development financial institution. We're part of a network of similar organizations all across the country. There are about a thousand or so. Uh, CEI was started in the late 70s in Midcoast, Maine, and uh, we provide small business lending and technical assistance. Uh, we're a nonprofit. Uh, we also develop affordable housing. We tend to focus on Maine's comparative advantage economies, uh, natural resources, agriculture, aquaculture, fisheries, and energy. And you're not a government entity, but are you affiliated with any government department? Um, we have relationships with the Small Business Administration and with uh, some other federal and state community and economic development organizations, but we're a, a private nonprofit and our funding comes from, uh, from banks, from grants, from high net worth individuals, and from our own earnings. And what sort of services do you provide to these companies? We provide free uh, technical assistance or business planning assistance uh, through the Small Business Development Center network, which is a statewide network of counselors uh, in Maine who, uh, free of charge, will help small and medium-sized companies uh, with startup questions and challenges and help them to fine-tune their business and business plan uh, as they move along. And we also provide uh, financing to uh, largely Maine-based companies. Uh, and they, those could be micro-loans of $5,000, or they could be uh, substantial loans of up to a uh, million to $2 million. What size companies do you work with? Well, uh, some may have one full or part-time employee, the, the entrepreneur startup companies. Uh, but some may have uh, 50 or 100 employees and be pretty well established. Are there any particular sectors that you work with, or do you work with any business in any sector? Well, uh, we, we can work with people across the full spectrum of uh, economic activities and businesses in Maine. Our particular expertise is around uh, those industries where we think Maine has a comparative advantage, uh, our natural resource-based industries agriculture, fisheries, aquaculture, uh, renewable energy. One of your, uh, your uh, precepts is uh, the, what you call the triple bottom line, economy, equity, and ecology. Talk about that for a bit. When we uh, invest or finance a company, we're looking for a number of different kinds of returns uh, from that relationship. We're hoping the company is going to grow and uh, thrive and increase its economic impact uh, we're also hoping that it's going to build uh, jobs, uh, something that Maine always is in need of, and that uh, they will be an employer that offers uh, jobs that pay reasonably, pay a living wage, and provide decent benefits through time. And we're also looking for environmental outcomes. Uh, we want companies to operate efficiently from an environmental and from an energy perspective, and we're also looking to invest in companies where there is uh, an environmental advantage to Maine people and to the state from the company's existence and their work. How do you work with companies? How do you find them? Do you go to them? Do they come to you? Well, uh, we, it, it works both ways, of course. Uh, sometimes they will meet with one of our small business counselors, and uh, from that relationship, they'll, uh, they'll get to know us. We're part of many trade organizations uh, in different sectors in Maine. For instance, I attend a lot of, a lot of events from e 2 Tech, from the Energy and Environmental Council of Maine, and we may meet businesses uh, through that network as well. We're here at Interface Energy in Portland. Uh, what's their story? How did you hook up with them, and what, how do you work with them? Uh, they're a startup in, uh, in wood pellet heating, biomass heating for homes and businesses. Uh, they're importing uh, excellent established technology from Europe uh, for, uh, for home heating and, and for business heating. And uh, they're using a natural resource that is a tremendous comparative advantage for Maine. It's great uh, woodshed or biomass supply. And what kind of assistance did you provide to them? 
Uh, we've provided some uh, technical and business planning assistance on, on, along the way, and we've uh, provided them uh, with some capital as well. And if people want more information about CEI or they want to talk to you about perhaps working with you, where do they go for more information? Uh, they can go directly to our website, which is www.ceimaine, that's M-A-I-N-E dot O-R-G. Ryan, tell us a little bit about Interface Energy. Interface Energy is a wholesale supplier and distributor of alternative energy solutions for everyone. We really focus on bringing technologies to the market that aren't currently available uh, and that are affordable and accessible to the general public. And what kind of alternatives are these? Uh, right now, our, our flagship product is the Kettle uh, line of fully automated pellet boilers. And what's your mission here? Our mission is really to provide the sustainable energy solutions for, for everyone. We really want to focus on uh, bringing solutions to the masses in a way that it hasn't been done so far. You know, up, up until this point, uh, alternative energy solutions have largely been for early adopters and for uh, affluent uh, communities. and. Uh, we're really trying to lower that bar and, and make it available for the average person. Give us a few facts and figures, oil versus wood pellets. In the state of Maine, 70% of households are heating with number two heating oil. Uh, that's the most expensive and most uh, polluting way of heating a home. Uh, we believe that uh, a significant portion of those homes could be converted to heating with wood pellets, which are a local and renewable source of energy, uh, and it saves the homeowners about 50% on their heating costs. What is the kettle boiler and how is it different? The kettle boiler is a fully automated pellet boiler system that's designed to fully replace an oil heating system. It's a central system that provides heat to the entire house as well as the domestic hot water system uh, if that's necessary. Uh, what makes the kettle stand out in the marketplace is really what you get for your money. Uh, if you spend the same amount of money on some of our competitors' products, you would uh, usually be buying a system that's not fully automated and that would require cleaning uh, fairly frequently. Uh, what the kettle brings is the automation and technology. It's a fully web-enabled. Uh, every unit comes standard with that option, which allows for remote servicing, diagnostics, and monitoring um, for maximizing efficiency, which are some actually some... Uh, features that our competition doesn't offer. And does it work with hot water and forced hot air? What kind of systems does it work with? It's really adaptable to just about any kind of heating system, whether you have forced hot water, cast iron baseboards, uh, or, or a forced air system, it can be adapted into. What about storing the pellets? How much room does it take to store pellets, and how much does that uh, equate to an oil tank in the basement? Yeah, that's actually one of our challenges right now is that the density of wood pellets is less than oil, and so it takes up a little bit more room. Uh, one ton of pellets is equivalent to 120 gallons of oil in terms of the heat content, and uh, so that takes up a little bit more room than heat than oil. Uh, however, usually you can fit three tons of pellets into a space that's about seven feet by seven feet square. And you can arrange for automatic delivery of pellets like you do for oil? Yes, bulk delivery is available throughout the state by multiple companies. And what is, uh, how did CEI help you? What, did, what were you looking for? What did they provide to you? CEI came in very early in the process when we were getting the company started, and they provided some very critical uh, early seed capital for the company that really helped us get our operations up and going more quickly than we would have been otherwise. Did you look at other sources of funding first? We did look at other sources, and we found CEI to uh, be the most reasonable and the easiest to work with, as well as uh, providing some services and, and information and advice that others weren't able to provide. They were really, uh, we saw them as a partner in the process of getting our company started. And talk a little bit about the process. How difficult was it to work with them? Uh, how did you start and finish? We've worked with several individuals at CEI, and all of them have been very accommodating and very helpful. Uh, we've, we've had to learn a lot, obviously, about getting a business like this started, and, and they've helped us with not only some of the financial questions, but other aspects of the business that we feel we probably wouldn't have gotten with other financial service companies. If people want more information about Interface Energy or the Kettle Boiler, where can they go for that information? Interfaceenergy.com or kettleboilers.com.